Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Street Race Talk, episode number 464. Now, if I'm being honest, this week, the topic we're discussing is one that I was not planning on talking about at all. If anything, one of the topics I was debating, discussing for this week was actually the exact opposite of what we are discussing. Now, as we sit right now, we really don't know what's happening with Street Outlaws. We really don't know what is coming next. We know that, or we're assuming there'll be No Prep King season number eight, maybe called No Prep Elite. We don't know what it's going to be called. We know we're assuming, though, that's going to pick up sometime next year. But until then, there's not really any, like, real, real rumors or, like, information about what could potentially be going on. And so one of the things I was thinking of discussing is maybe we should just talk one last time about just like the TV show being kind of done. And then I was like, we could talk about that and kind of put that to bed. We'll be able to say, okay, we're wrapping it up right here. We're talking about the TV show. Everything we talk about going forward will be about new potential things and new information that's coming out about what the future holds because the TV will officially be something that is said and done and in the past we are fully moved on from that it will not be coming back we can put that to bed and never speak of it again we can talk about you know reminisce on good old times but by no means have anything discussed in terms of like oh maybe the TV show will be coming back those discussions I was assuming would be done but then one of the superstars of Street Outlaws one of the no prep kings champions comes out with a post addressing a bunch of things he appeared to be asking questions of a whole bunch. Now, he addressed a couple of different things in this post that he made, but there's one in particular that I want to talk about in this video here today. Ty Kelly made a post on Facebook, and like I said, he listed off a bunch of these different things that people ask him all the time. He kind of just gave the answers to those questions. You can infer what those questions were. But one of the things he said, actually, the first thing that was there was, the TV show isn't gone. Now, what does that mean? What does he mean the TV show isn't gone? Well, I think it's pretty much meaning that they're still planning to film stuff in the future for some sort of show. Because if he's saying the TV show isn't gone, that means it's not all like gloom and doom, oh, it's only going to be our own content we're making. No more TV stuff. If you guys want to watch the races, either the live streams, or it's going to be watching our content. There's no like TV type show to watch anywhere. It's completely said and done. That's not the case at all. He said the TV show isn't gone, meaning we are going to see some sort of TV type content at some point in the future. Now, is it the near future or the distant future? I don't know. That's why I just said the future, because he's saying right there, we will see something like that eventually. Now, what does that mean? Does that potentially mean no prep king season number six? The season that was fully filmed and while it was being filmed was gone about and talked about as being, oh, we're going to see this on TV. So let's not give out too much information about this because we don't want spoilers for people that are waiting to see it on TV. Then that show was, like I said, filmed, fully edited and produced, sold to Discovery Channel. Planned to be aired on TV and just never aired on TV. So we literally have like a forgotten season of No Prep Kings because it was gone about as being something that was going to be for TV. So they didn't give like all the information because of spoilers and that type of stuff. Then it never aired on TV. So there's tons of people have no idea what happened in that season. And if I'm being honest, that might have been the best season we ever had of No Prep Kings. It added a whole bunch of new stuff. It, the races were crazy. The drivers that were competing were awesome. Like, dude, it was an electrifying season. Just nobody has ever seen that. So will we potentially see that? I don't know. Again, that gets into stuff that I just don't know any information about. I've tried to figure stuff out. It's just a Discovery Channel bought it. I don't know if like they can, Pilgrim could buy it back or however that, I have no idea how that works. So absolutely no idea still for what could unfold for no prep king season number six for no prep king season number seven i mean there was the streams of it i don't think anything was filmed to like the degree in which we have seen stuff in the past for street outlaws but realistically with the stuff that was streamed and the different content that's put, been put out there think take that 
and then do like the interview shots where they like kind of like how they talked about the street shows they would do it after the fact like months sometimes weeks to months later after the races took place do like the interview type shots when they're sitting in their shots and stuff just a single camera shot and the individual drivers talking they could maybe do some stuff with that to cobble together a tv show for no prep king season seven but if i'm being honest no Prep King Season 6 and No Prep King Season 7, being the TV shows Kai's talking about, are very unrealistic expectations, I believe. I believe that there's going to be a big change coming up in the future with Street Outlaws. I, like I said, think No Prep King Season 7 was just, let's just see what happens. And then the stuff that happens afterwards is going to be the big new stuff. We've known for a fact that someone such as Dana White and other names involved are now owners, you could say for Street Outlaws. So we know there is change coming in that department. That news wasn't released until the very beginning of No Prep King season number seven. So I've always said that I believe that the new owners kind of just left this season as is. Their hands off. They did nothing with this. We just acquired this. Let's see how everything plays out. Once this plays out, we'll add in our changes and stuff afterwards. So I'm assuming we're going to be seeing changes implemented into the future for Street Outlaws. And with that, new TV shows will arise. Now, will they go back to the shows we've seen in the past? Mega Cash Days, Street Outlaws Fastest in America, America's List, NOLA, Memphis, The 405 Show. I could go on and on. If I'm being honest, I don't think so. I think, like, it, when we see something new for a TV show in terms of Street Outlaws content, it's going to be like, hit the reset button. It's going to be something new. It'll, season one will go about, like, you might know these guys from Street Outlaws, but, like, for the most part, it'll be kind of, like, reintroduction type stuff because it's been so long since we saw them on TV. It'll be, be the beginning of a new era. So I think there's going to be a lot of change coming in the near future. What's that change going to be? I really don't know. But with Kai saying the TV show isn't gone, I mean... It pretty much confirms we will see something on TV eventually in the future. I think it's safe to say the next season of No Prep Kings, what will be No Prep Kings or No Prep Elite, season number eight. I think it's safe to assume that'll be something potentially for TV. But you could even take it a step further and say, I wonder if we'll see street stuff maybe for the TV. I always tie back to this. We had Jeff Lutz and Dominic on the starting line of one of the races live on the official Street Outlaws MBK live stream saying they're doing this stuff live. Literally, why not do the street stuff live? So, like, the idea's out there for that. Maybe they do something like that. Or maybe they were thinking of that, scrap that idea, and then they got the idea for some other new TV show to do, and they go to the TV show instead. See, like, there's so many possibilities here of what could take place, what could happen, how we could see stuff in the future. But we got a massive piece of information this past week with Kai Kelly, one of the biggest names in Australia right now. And you think about it, like, someone such as Kai Kelly giving this information here is, like, very big because if I think about it like I would look at like Swanstrom, Kai, Sean, and Ryan. Those are the biggest names where I'm like if those got boosted as well. If those are saying something there's probably a lot of truth behind it because those are the biggest names there are right now and the ones that are going to kind of carry it forward and whenever we see something new they're going to be the stars and faces of it. So we're looking forward now to hearing some more information about this but we do know that a TV show is not done for Street Outlaws. And we will see something like that at some point again. I don't know if it's the near future or an instant future. I just know that it's in the future. And that is all for this week's episode of Serious Talk. I thank you so much for watching TTVE. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys click that little bell to notifications so you don't miss a single video I upload. All of my videos upload live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hope you guys had a great week this week and are looking forward to a great weekend this weekend. And I honestly can't thank you guys for watching TTVE. Be sure to like and subscribe. And this is Sam, ABC, XYZ, signing out.